How to Order Abalone Like in Professional Ever get stumped when presented with a multi-page menu of abalone options in a restaurant? From cooking methods to the size, style and origins of abalone, there are many intricacies involved in assessing the planet's most sought-after shellfish. We break down the topic for you with the help of expert chefs from Michelin restaurants, so you can order abalone like an expert. Most considered a delicacy among the Chinese, this expensive shellfish is served at banquets and is especially popular during Chinese New Year celebrations as its Chinese name, Baoyu, means guaranteed abundance. Abalone belongs to the gastropod, sea snail, family, alongside whelk and locos, which all have a single shell with an inner, iridescent layer. Whether steamed, pan-fried, braised, gently poached in soup or even enjoyed raw, the part of the abalone that is consumed is its muscular foot, which has a strong suction power that allows the abalone to clamp tightly to rocky surfaces, or onto the sides of a glass tank, as may be observed in Chinese restaurants. But unlike fish and lobster, live is not always best when it comes to abalones, it is the dried version that is most sought after for its deep umami flavor. The number of heads per caddy refers to the size of one abalone, or specifically the number of pieces of abalone that would make up a caddy, 600 grams. Abalone while four head in one caddy, 600 grams, refers to four pieces of 150 grams abalone. Hence, the larger the number, the smaller the abalone. Traditionally refers to the abalones that have been dried, it is also used to, to describe canned abalone. So when the menu lists a heavier 3-head abalone for a substantially lower price than a lighter 22-head abalone, there's a catch. A giveaway is when the heavier one is described in the menu as tang bao or soup abalone, and the lighter one is tang singan bao or candy heart dried abalone, which are canned and dried abalones respectively. Shen bao refers to fresh abalones that could either be live or frozen. However, in Chinese culture context, it is believed that consuming abalone will bring forth good fortune and a year of abundance so there are some who will opt for more heads of the abalone to signify an abundant year ahead. Why do wild-caught abalones cost more? Common varieties used in Chinese restaurants are the South African abalones, green lip, brown lip, black lip abalones from Australia, blue lip and yellow lip abalones from Mexico, and kippen abalone from Japan. Do farmed abalone and wild-caught ones taste different? If the customer is concerned about sustainability, should they only choose the farmed abalone? Wild-caught abalones have a stronger taste as compared to farmed abalone with more delicate flavor. Farmed abalones are the go-to if a customer is concerned about sustainability, as the population of wild abalones is almost. What are the differences between abalones from different countries? Why do South African abalones have a reputation for being the most premium compared to those from other countries like Japan, US, Australia, New Zealand, Mexico, China, etc.? The abalones have a larger size and a more distinct flavor and fragrance owing to the pristine marine environment in the cold waters off the coasts of South Africa. South African abalones are considered the most exquisite selection due to their distinctive fresh and rich flavor and succulent texture. They also weigh more and have a darker color as compared to abalone from other regions. Golden yellow in color, Japanese abalone are more chewy and have a smoother texture and strong aroma. Australian abalone are lighter in color, smooth in texture, have a sweet taste and tender meat. Each type of abalone has its own unique characteristics in terms of its texture and flavor. Frozen and fresh abalones are most suited for grilling which allows the meat to soak in their own juices, or they can also be steamed ensuring nutrients are preserved and the natural sweetness of the shellfish shine through. When it is served as sashimi with soy sauce and wasabi. It can also be served steamed or grilled. Dried abalones are best used in soups as the stronger flavor profile of the. With canned abalones, Little preparation is required because most canned abalones contain salt or are already braised in a sauce, rendering a flavor to the meat. The texture differs depending on the preparation method of the shellfish. When eaten raw, the meat will have a crisp bite with a subtle mouthfeel, as opposed to a more genuine bite and firmer texture with a braised, boiled and stir-fried abalone. 
Stir-fried abalones are usually cut in strips against its grain before getting stir-fried, as this results in a meltingly tender meat. What is the best way to prepare dried abalones at home? Then, scrub the abalone and remove the entrails. Soak in hot water for 8 hours and repeat the step until soft. The hydrated abalone is ready to be cooked with other ingredients. During the cooking process, the abalone is simmered in broth for several hours to soften it and thereafter served as a whole or in thin slices. Where to get dried abalone? Tech Sang on Hong Kong Street is a one-stop shop where you can get a variety of canned abalone and dried abalones. Come down to talk to our staffs to select your favorite abalone. Come visit us at 11 Hong Kong Street. We are only 5 minutes away from Clark Key MRT Station.